Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are just on the other side of the bridge going over to Point Pleasant, West Virginia, because today is the most magical day of the year. Today is Mothman Festival. Now, I love going to all the different cryptid festivals around the country celebrating their local cryptids, but to me, Mothman Festival, the the Super Bowl of cryptid festivals. Now I don't. Now I do try to go every year. This is one of my favorite events of the year. I have missed a couple for various reasons, having to be in different places. Uh, you know, there was the the unpleasantness back in uh, in 2020 and 2021 that unfortunately forced the the festival to not operate. But so excited to be here today. I actually got a chance. It was. I got to go very, you know, this, this has been really great watching this festival grow. Um, I remember the first time I went years ago, probably over a decade ago, it was a moderate street festival, a moderate local street festival, and now it has just become something way bigger, a way bigger celebration of Mothman, of cryptids, of the supernatural, and I uh, really love getting out here every year. You can see the bridge there covered in cars, people get going in to point pleasant West Virginia and I've decided as I did last year parked over here in Henderson West Virginia uh, where the parking's a little bit a uh, little bit easier to find um, once yeah I, I decided rather than getting in that huge line of cars and trying to find somewhere to park in Point Pleasant park over here in Henderson and walk over because usually I would rather be walking than just sitting in my car waiting but it is it is the 2024 mothman festival and i'm very very excited so please follow me get ready to cross the the bridge here of course point pleasant home to the world's only mothman museum Just in case you're asking yourself, what's a Mothman? The, the, the Cliff Notes version is that in this area, the Point Pleasant, West Virginia area, in the middle of the previous century, there were sightings. Uh, there was a part of, part of the town where they manufactured TNT, explosives, and kids would go out there to mess around and make out with each other, and they would have sightings of this winged man, this winged creature with glowing red eyes. It would dive at them while they were in their cars trying to get away. Sightings of this began occurring all over town and um, you know, it reached a fever pitch. And then there was a horrific accident. The Silver Bridge collapsed into the water. And um, and again, this was horrible. It was rush, rush hour traffic. It was full of cars, collapsed in to the water. Lots of fatalities. People drowned under the water in the river. This event marked the end of the original Mothman sighting. Some felt like Mothman may have been warning people of the bridge collapsed, that he may have been connected in some other way. And there is a lot more high strangeness, strange activity connected to this area. There is uh, UFO sightings, the original sightings of the men in black, all connected to this area. So many weird things happening at once. But the town of Point Pleasant has embraced Mothman, has uh, actually erected a statue to him in the town, and every year they have this grand celebration of Mothman. So a town that truly embraces their cryptid and the strangeness that has occurred in Point Pleasant. Getting to the other side of the bridge, you can see, yeah, traffic fairly backed up in the town. I just did not feel like driving around trying to find a parking spot. So I, I don't mind walking, park on the other side of the bridge and just walk into Point Pleasant. Oh, what happened with that car? Don't want to try to cross the street in front of them. 
And we have arrived. And look at this, the line for the Mothman Museum wraps all the way back here. Wow, I don't know if I've ever seen the line quite that long. You gotta love that mural there. It says, Point Pleasant, where history meets mystery. You have the Mothman flying over the bridge, carrying the U.S. flag. You can just see the mass of people that have showed up to celebrate Mothman. And there's actually two lines here to get your picture taken with the Mothman statue. You've got one line to uh, get your picture taken in front of the statue. And you have a second line here behind the statue. They are here to take pictures with the Mothman's well-defined <laughs> butt crack. And as you can see down here, people leave beans here as an offering to, uh, to Mothman. Bigfoot, how are you doing? Come to show support for your buddy Mothman? Having a good time? Awesome. Oh, and here, of course, people lining up, get their picture taken with the man himself, the Moth Man himself. Hey, Moth Man. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Hey, Moth Man, how are you doing? Oh, no. Oh no, he's coming at me. I love your wings, they're, they're enormous and feathery. <laughs> you having a good festival? Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. I feel like it just becomes more and more immense every year. Just look at all these people. We'll fight our way through this crowd here. It's the different vendors who are selling their Mothman related wares. Mothman ornament for your Christmas tree or you know any kind of tree you'd like. Oh, there's baby, baby Mothman right there. Oh, the Mothman Frisbee. Little Mothman headband there. Oh look at these moth glasses. Our moth bow. And they have the moth Mothman cake pops there. You'll find a wide variety of different Mothman shirts all down the main street area here. The legend of Mothman. All different interpretations of Mothman. This is Randy Kreider art here. And look at that. We have roller rollerblading Mothman. Again, love the different interpretations. Yeah, these are pretty fun. This chupacabra is worth protecting. Sasquatch, enjoy, don't destroy. The Flatwoods monster deserves your respect. Yeah, I love the you know how the other cryptids you know kind of make cameos here at the festival. It says Mothman is a community asset. Things are very very true. Oh, I love this Simpsons throwback. I choo choo choose you. The train running over Ralph. Is this is this Pizza Wizard? Is that is that the guy from uh, from Mellow Mushroom? This Geek Boy press here. The Smiley Mothman. But what I really like is this here, the Mushnick's Flower Shop, home of the strange and interesting. A reference to Little Shop of uh, of horror. Brimstone Studios here. It's a very scary Mothman, but also love the Hodag here. One of my one of my personal favorite. Uh, Cryptids. Seymour's captive cryptids here. And I love these uh, cryptid masks. The frogman there. The uh, chupacabra. And little squeezable, little squeezable cryptids. The little squonk there. Got a hearse here from the haunt, <laughs> haunt of Majestic. Oh, you the remember me? Waiting for you. The chair. I'm not getting in that chair again. Oh, little do you know, my friend, <laughs> you are my perpetual victim. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Haunted Majestic Hero, a wonderful haunted house. I've actually been there, filmed the haunted house, a haunted house on a boat. Yes, 
and we will drag you away to the eventually. You will be Shanghai. Shanghai? I don't want to be Shanghai. I didn't ask if you wanted to. <laughs> Is that chair still here? Yes, my good sir. I'm not getting I'm not getting in that chair again. Oh, <laughs> hey, everybody's been waiting for you. No. Oh, waiting for you. Yeah, they're... yeah, last year I got in this chair and it, it's a real electric chair. Yeah, everybody that's come by. We were seeing carpet bagger on there last year. <laughs> we want in the did chair. They, they wanted they wanted to try it after seeing me? Yes. They didn't believe me that it was real. <laughs> But yeah, and then some woman says they were hoping to run into you. I said, I don't know. You might skip this year. Never know. No, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't like skipping them off, man. I'll, I'll be wandering around all day. Okay, well, then awesome. Then I'll see you again next year. All right, but I'm not getting in that chair again. Okay. <laughs> this is Jellico here with the very kawaii Mothman. You can see here, I touched the Mothman's butt. As we saw earlier, it is a tradition for people on their first visit to Point Pleasant to touch the naked rear end of the Mothman statue. The adorable Sasquatch there and the very brightly colored moth, moth men. Look at these cryptids here. A Sasquatch going fishing. Flatwoods monster. I think that's a chupacabra there getting ready to eat a goat. Oh, love the jackalope. It's the Jersey Devil playing hockey. But I think that's one of the Hopkinsville goblins there, roasting marshmallows. And look at this here, the little totem pole. Got Mothman on top, Sasquatch, Jersey Devil, the Fresno Nightcrawler there at the bottom. Oh, I love the Fresno Nightcrawler wearing wearing uh, pants there because he's basically just legs. Oh, and look at that, the sad, the sad squonk. Kelly Bryant here with some terrifying pieces of art. Michael Myers there, the uh, newest horror icon, Art the Clown, and there's the Mothman. I love the uh, Wicked Witch of the West there. Got wild and weird West Virginia here. See that uh, elongated alien skull. And this is pretty cool here, this map. Kind of a timeline, I guess things have happened during the Mothman incident, the TNT bunkers, the Men in Black there all along the Ohio River. Sure to be lurking about. Oh, it looks like we're having a hodag presentation here. I see smoke rising from the, from the box. Now, my brother happens to work for SeaWorld and he was able to get a prescription of killer whale sedative that we use on the hodag to keep it tranquilized, keep everybody safe. Uh, it just was dining on some white bulldogs, which is its favorite meal. What did you do last week to wake it up? The horn tickle. The horn, the horn tickle. tickle. Oh, it's tickling the horns there. Horn right sticking on, up. Odeg. Come on, Odeg. Okay, he's, I don't think the horn tickle's working today, oh, Gary. Give it a little. Come on, Odeg. Odeg. Come on, Odeg. People at Point Pleasant want to see you today. Try it. Come on, Odeg. So Try we're going to get this Odeg to give you a little show here. All right. I think maybe a, maybe a good method just be kick it. Let's give yeah, it that's what I kick said. It going. Kick, kick it. it. Come on, Odeg. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Okay, everybody. Oh, 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 okay, I have to get out your whole egg for five dollars. Oh, 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 Okay, all right. All right, folks, the whole egg seems to be calming down here. Crisis averted. Point Pleasant is safe today. So we can take a look here at the whole egg. Is he? You see him in there? Well, let's not get him. Oh! Not get him wild. Oh, he's getting angry. Let's see if we can get a peek at him from this angle. There's a lot of smoke. Hodag here, being a little quiet right now. See what kind of merchandise they have here at the Hodag store. And look up there on the on the uh, Hodag's ear, a little familiar face. And we got the 3D printed Hodag there. 
along with the 3D printed Mothman. The various sizes of stuffed hodags there. The sticker here, this is uh, this is uh, the Black Lagoon Room made this. The uh, Monsters of Wisconsin, the Beast of Bray Road, the Hodag, and the Haunchyville Haunchies. All the different Hodag merchandise. There he is hanging out with his buddy, the Mothman. Have Hodag for president there. Hodag hat there. I would wear that, but I, I don't know. I don't look good at baseball caps. Well, hello there. Hello to you as well. I like I like your skull. The State Theater here welcoming us to both Point Pleasant and the 2024 Mothman Festival. Local Ghostbuster unit is here taking pictures with people in front of the giant Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. The Ghostbusters here have a lizard. What kind of lizard is this? This is a tegu lizard. A tegu? Does she like to be touched? She does. Yes, she loves pets. She loves pets. Hey there, tegu. She feels like a beaded car seat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Camaria. I love your shirt. Camaria the tegu. They have the big Stay Puft Marshmallow Man up there. That down here is the new mini version. Uh oh, don't fall in the toaster there, little guy. You have the Ghostbusters West Virginia division there. And then a, uh, I guess, say no to Mothman <laughs> patch there as well. And over here we have the original site of the Silver Bridge that uh, collapsed the. Uh, event often linked to Mothman, but an absolutely horrific event. They have the memorial over here. Let's see the sign here talks about the collapse of the bridge and then a memorial here marking the site of the Silver Bridge collapse when 46 lives were lost. So a lot of people lost their lives here in, uh, in this disaster here on the river wall here where the bridge previously crossed the river you have a mural of the bridge involved in that fateful accident it's Appalachian Gothic here some great Mothman pictures here he is with uh, the uh, Flatwoods monster Braxy in front of Biscuit World like America Gothic and here the crypt is riding a roller coaster at Camden Park the classic amusement park here in West Virginia. In fact, the only amusement park in West Virginia. I'm meaning to get back out there, but they do not, they do not have a lot of hours available. They only open a, a few days, a uh, few days a month. And then we see Mothman outside the West Virginia Mystery Hole, another great roadside attraction. This is Cryptid Comfort. It's a great booth you'll see at many of the uh, cryptid festivals. Make these wonderful handmade cryptids. See the, the squonk there. Notice the pink, the pink hodag. That's interesting. Oh, look at this one here. The Pasagula, Pasagula alien, also known as the Pasagula elephant man, actually went uh, to this spot in Pasagula, Mississippi, where they uh, they had abducted a man. Here's the cryptid comforts mothman there. See the. Uh, Gremlins-esque logo there for the Hopkinsville Goblins. Even has some cryptids for the cats. 
cryptids with catnip in them. There's a hodag. I feel like the hodag is, is seeing his time in the sun. He seems like he's becoming very popular. The Mystic Novelty Company. Some interesting stuff here. We got the hodag, uh, hodag uh, car freshener and some cryptid themed makeup and cryptid themed perfume there. Got the moth, moth perfume and the brand new Fiji mermaid scented uh, perfume there. Oh. I was like, you know, like the ocean, like fresh, like the ocean. Pickled punk booth here. Always like to see them. They're, they're always here at Mothman and they do the oddities and curiosities expos as well. So these wonderful uh, sideshow posters, the Roddy Corn, the Trick Per Treat, little dogs and cats as horror creatures, all the ever ever popular Beetlejuice there. And here we have the uh, cat version of Mothman, Moth Meow. You can see the adorable cryptids here, including the very sad, sad squash there. He's sad because he dropped his ice cream. Dead Neck Studios has this amazing taxidermied Yeti head. Now because the town is so busy and congested. Self-service does not work. My cell phone does not work since I've entered the town. So some of the vendors may have trouble running credit cards. And you see people here lined up for the ATM trying to get the cash. And someone was just telling me that last year, the bank forgot to put money in the ATM. So people were going to the ATM and, uh, and the bank had no, had no money. So you, you, here's, here's a tip. If you come to Mothman, bring, bring some cash with you. Bring a handful of cash. And the festival does extend past the river wall here onto the riverfront. On the other side of the river wall, you have this massive mural here depicting Native American life in the area. Some more vendors here alongside the river. We have a concert here in front of the riverboat. The Rust Belt Monster Collective here. Looks like they're currently painting a mural. Check out these amazing wood carved mothmen. Got Sasquatch. And the Flatwoods Monster as well. Got a couple different flavors of Mothman. There's this big white carved Sasquatch here. They're pretty amazing carvings here. Love the different Sasquatch faces. Oh, and I really like this. Here, almost reminds me of a woolly booger. You got surf, surf squatch there. Oh, and here's, here's the Mothman. Oh, look at this alien skull here. Oh, look at this. I've been wanting to meet this guy for a while. It's the, it's the grafted monster. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to the, oh my gosh. I couldn't make it to the grafted monster festival this year, but he showed up at Mothman and I'm so happy. This headless monster from Grafton, West Virginia. <laughs> oh, look at that! T absolutely terrible. This is oh, this is the only domesticated yeah, Grafton one. <laughs> hey, buddy, can we can we can we, do, can we do a fist bump? Uh, uh, there we go. All right, a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Grafton Monster. <laughs> Mr. Monster. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, look, he does tricks. <laughs> Yeah, the Grafton Monster is hanging out here by this uh, Fallout encampment. You can see the different uh, props here. A Nuka Cola. Also, everything's fine to touch. Everything's okay to touch? <laughs> Nuka Victory Cola. Have these statues here of 
General Andrew Lewis and of Chief Cornstalk. Now, uh, the Chief Cornstalk actually does play into the Mothman lore. I just said that he did place a curse upon this area because of the uh, treatment of Native Americans. And some actually connect the Mothman as being part of Chief Cornstalk's curse. And here is Lord Dunmore. And again, my, my cell phone doesn't work, so I'm unable to look up who Lord Dunmore is. So if you know who Lord Dunmore is, leave a comment in the comment section. Hello again, how are you? Good. This is normal people scare me. Me too, me too. <laughs> hey Wolf. Hey, what's your name? Si oh, your name is Husky Bass. Okay. What? Well, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, okay. You have fist bumps? There we go. Pleasure to meet you. There's the monsterologist Mothman there. His booth makes wonderful posters and stickers. Yeah, there's all their Mothman stuff, the Mothman Squadron. We're specifically for the Mothman Festival. And then here is your guide to Cryptids of West Virginia. We met the Grafton Monster over there by the by the river. And then uh, Flatwoods Monster, just a little bit, just a little bit east of here. I need to meet I need to meet Sheep Squatch. Northwood Bricks makes these amazing little kits where you can make your own uh, put your own cryptids together with the bricks. The Michigan Dog Man there. Of course, Mothman. Now I have I have the Hodag. I've not put them together yet. Also, I have the Snow Wasset, kind of a uh, a creature that swims around in the in the snow as if it was water. And of course, you have the classic Bigfoot as well. The paranormal road tripper here. They have a great uh, paranormal museum in Kentucky that I've actually had the pleasure of touring. Some. Uh, Mothman feathers there. Also some Bigfoot fur, Yeti fur there, and Dogman fur. They sell a great collection of different uh, Sasquatch prints, different species of Sasquatch from around the world. The little foot there, and a Chupacabra, Chupacabra paw. And these are tree knockers let you communicate with uh, with the Sasquatch knock you knock on a tree it's a way to communicate and talk to the Sasquatch and the shirt here says eat locals not eat local as in eating locally produced food but actually eating locals as in eating people that live in the locale the parade of ghouls here the uh, goblins different creatures there I think that's I think that's Bat Boy. Let's head into the Point Pleasant Trading Company here. It's kind of where Mothman happens uh, year round. Now there is a little bit of a little bit of a wait to get in, but uh, less of a wait than there is for the museum. Oh my! Look at the Sasquatch over there. Yeah, this store is kind of a celebration of uh, of cryptids. You can see the different Sasquatch merchandise, all the different plushy Sasquatches. There's the Cryptid Comfort uh, Frogman. Oh, he said, Psst. Yes, yes, Sasquatch? <clears throat> he clears clear his throat. It's a pleasure to, pleasure to meet you, Sasquatch. making terrible noises. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, no one said there'd be farting. The Sasquatch troll there with his little camera. Of course, because he's trying to take he's trying to take a picture of you, much like you were trying to take a picture of him. The Yeti troll there. And the original bag of poo, not to be confused with any of those uh bootleg bags of poo. Yeah, they have stuff by all different artists here. It's a very 
an interesting interpretation of the Mothman. The shirt looks like it has Mothman and the Flatwoods Monster intermingling in outer space. And there you have the Mountain Dew Mothman. Sort of lake monster. And a jackal. Now they have the new Mothman Blacklight Mini Golf upstairs. Unfortunately, they do, cl they do close it for the festival that said it's just too too chaotic today to have the uh, mini golf open. So we'll have to come back some other time off season and uh, do the Mothman mini golf. You can see the uh, creature right there, the moss covered creature. I do love these uh, these troll creatures. They're called the wild hair creatures of legends and lore. Got the chupacabra there. There's Cthulhu and uh, the Jersey Devil. It's the Bermuda Triangle t-shirt. The Czar Tours apartment. Visit inescapable paradise. I do like these vintage style masks. The Mothman there. And the, uh, and the Sasquatch. And just a, uh, a, a skeleton faced weirdo there. Different Point Pleasant shirts here. West Virginia Mothman. Very shaggy Mothman plushie there. That is the uh, Cryptid Comforts Flatwood Monster there. And uh, oh yeah, look at these bobbleheads. Oh man, do I need to start collecting Cryptid bobbleheads? The Jersey Devil. Oh, the Goat Man there. They do have the Mothman bobbler and uh, Chupacabra. I was getting pretty thirsty, so I figured we'd grab a uh, a Mothman root beer. All right, let's try the Mothman root beer. I haven't been drinking full sugar sodas, but you know what? It's Moth it's Mothman festival. Oh, that's pretty good. It's been a long time since I've had a root beer. It's really creamy, really delicious. Sugar's sugar's good every once in a while. Hey! Good to see you again! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Got the, got the chuckles there. <laughs> oh, great to see you again! Back in here is the uh, Ohio Cryptid Researchers. Some more of these uh, castings of Sasquatch feet. Oh, look at the size of that one right there. Oh, is a Jawa in jail here. Well, how'd you get in jail? Oh, but we like collecting money there for the uh, for the prevention fund. Here, I'll give you a few dollars there. Oh, yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the 501st Legion, the world's definitive imperial costuming organization. Some of the, uh, their helmets here. There are some of the, uh, some of the Legion here. Boba Fett. Oh, <laughs> the, uh, Raider there. Oh, look at this, we got a couple couple of Wendigos roaming around here. Oh, look at that. Ah! Oh! They, they have an unsatiable hunger for human flesh. This is the Mothman Club Pop Rocket Creations. Let's see, reminiscent of the Mickey Mouse Club there. There's different uh, Sasquatches saying, we believe in you. Another year-round shop here, Bunker 304. And uh, the line is not too long to get in here. Yeah, the different pop culture things in here. These spooky masks. And quite the collection of Kiss Dolls. We do got a variety of Mothmen shirt in here. The, uh, I think I have this one at home. 
Then you have one that's like the um, license plate style shirt. And this one says, uh, Mothman is my boyfriend. I actually sell MREs here, complete meals for only $13. And you can eat them while you're at war, eat them in a storm, or just eat them on a delightful camping trip. Zoltar here at the uh, bunker. Let's give him, give him a dollar. It is Mothman Festival after all. Pay attention now. Zoltar has a word of wisdom for you this day. He who laughs last thinks slowest. Stay alert, my friend, and laugh heartily and quickly. For a small fee, Zoltar will tell you more of his secrets, and wisdom is priceless. It's one of the apes from Planet of the Apes. Nice, uh, I, like your, I like your new hat. It looks good on you. There's some vintage t-shirts here. Oh, I do like the do like the Bat Boy t-shirt. That's a lot of fun. Is that Crybaby Gum? I don't remember Crybaby Gum. I don't think so. Double Bubble Crybaby Gum? Oh, look at that. There's Batman wearing a wizard hat. Right in the center of Point Pleasant, of course, you have the historic Low Hotel. Uh, I had the honor of staying here a couple different times and uh, definitely a unique experience. Some would say a very spooky experience at the Low. I have lost in a dream. And look at this, the little Precious Moments dolls. Spookified there, you little, little boy there holding the Mothman. Little girl there with the I love Mothman crochet. Oh, look at this. Look at this little Mothman. This little girl looks like she's praying, praying to Mothman. Yeah, still no sign of slowing down. You see people still here lining up both ends of the Mothman statue. There's the art of Eerie Eric. You can see the art here. These paintings with monsters inserted into them. See the Yeti there on that mountaintop. And it looks like we do have a Mothman terrorizing a city there. And I think that's I think that's the Dover Demon there on top of a church. One of those classic owl clocks there with a Mothman owl. There's the two-headed monster from Sesame Street. And then the Last Supper, where they're all aliens. J.B. Snell here does these interesting interpretations of different cryptids. You got the uh, Wendigo there. There's uh, Vegetable Man. And uh, oh, that's a very interesting uh, interpretation of the Flatwoods monster, almost like he's in a uh, aquatic suit. Oh wait, that's not. Oh, that, okay, I think that's a mashup. It's the mashup between the Flatwoods monster and the Loveland Frogman. I think that's the sheep squatch there. And then we have the Pasagula, Pasagula alien, and that ship looks like the ship from Flight of the Navigator. And Jen Clover here also has excellent creative cryptid art. It's the very sad squonk there. I love the jackalope next to the Devil's Tower. Just camped out there earlier this year. This is Liv Pavlik Designs. I love the uh, the pins there. I actually own some of these some of these pins. Some bumper stickers as well. The Liv Laugh Lurk bumper sticker. Oh, I like that. It's a fat boy as big boy. There's Conjure Dust Studios here. These wonderful postcards. See the different types of UFOs there. Oh, the life cycle of the Snallygaster. I was, I was kind of sad. I had to miss the ve first annual Vegetable Man Festival this year. Maybe I'll try to make it, make it next year. You can see Mo Mothman there in his scouting, his scouting uniform. There he is as a miner. Yeah, they have stickers for just about, just about any cryptids you can imagine. The, Hopkinsville Goblins there, 
the man van meter visitor, the pterodactyl like creature. Frogman's been popular. The Barney and Betty Hill abduction. It's the Moth Boys podcast here. I live in that. Little book there. Curious creatures. The Vegetable Man. Yeah, the Vegetable Man's kind of a newer, not newer as in existing, but newer as in relevant. Appalachian Huntsman here has some uh, different food seasonings. There is Sasquatch's taco seasoning. Of course, Veggie Man has the salad blaster. Oh, now that's that's this is a good plan. Where the Skinwalker Ranch, not like the ranch as in like the place, but ranch as in like ranch dressing with shape shifting black ma black magic users. The Mothman has the black chili mix and the steak and brisket dust. And then that's uh, this is Bigfoot's best BBQ. This is Wild Sage Felt here. It's a little Mothman in a bird cage. Look in this vase here. We have Veggie Man. Oh, look at that. There's little Boo in his portrait there. Some other very adorable cryptids. And the Goblin Energy Drink there. Just don't be grumpy. Just be a goblin. Okay, there's still quite a line to get to see the front of the Mothman statue, but the back actually has no line currently, so I must engage in that tradition. Everyone that comes to Point Pleasant must touch what they call the shiny hiney of the Mothman, touching this place that has been touched by every single person currently at this festival. And you can see the offerings here that people have left Mothman. A lot of beans, but also some, some healthier, healthy snacks there. Look at all these beans. Some people even left money, spam, soda, a little Mountain Dew for Mothman. The Eerie Travels podcast here. Some of the books. Freaky Florida and Eerie Appalachia. Two of my two of my favorite regions, the Appalachian region and Florida. All right, we have Paige here, and she has written this uh, book series here. The I'm in love with Mothman. I'm engaged to Mothman. And then finally, I'm getting married to Mothman. Hi. Doing a little book signing here. Hi. <laughs> you like cozy books and monsters and Beauty and the Beast retellings. You might have just found your new favorite book series. Ah. Beast and Hawk illustrations here. Some really cool Mothman interpretations. The Bally Raven. Outpost here. That's some really great, really great stuff. You can see like the the educational drawings areas. These are field studies, field study on dragons and uh, the squonk there, the Maryland goat man. Not to be confused with the Kentucky goat man. I love the little moth man in the pith helmet there. Now the line for the museum is completely un. Relenting, so I think we may have to pass on seeing the museum this time. But I think the best time to see the museum is probably to come off season and to uh, and to do the museum. It's a it's a great attraction year round here in uh, Point Pleasant. Still a massive line. It's about 4:30, and uh, still a massive line just to get your photo taken with the statue. Again, this is a good reason to come to Point Pleasant in the off season. I'd say come come to Point, Point Pleasant twice a year. Come for the Mothman Festival and then come and enjoy it sometime off season. I was seeking out a Mothman meal. I heard here at the Rio Bravo 2 that they have a Mothman burrito. All right, I have a good Mexican dinner here inside the Rio Bravo 2 on Main Street. Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And he has arrived. The Mothman Burrito is here. You can see his glowing red tomato eyes there. His wings, not sure what his wings are made out of. It looks like some sort of crispy uh, fried object. And I guess he is uh, full of ground beef on the inside. Oh, look at him. Let's explore this Mothman burrito together. Almost don't want to tear into him, but uh, we must. The 
ground beef there. Mmm. Very nice seasoned beef there. Some rice and beans. I'll try that wing. With some cheese. Cheese all over everything. Mmm, yeah. Definitely deep fried, whatever it is. Like a puffy, crispy, flaky, deep fried wing. Mm. Mm. Really good. The best cryptid themed burrito I have ever had. And just as he had mysteriously appeared, Mothman has vanished. So thank you for joining me here for the 2024 Mothman Festival, one of my favorite events of the year. I like to try to get out here every year if I can, and this year was amazing. So many people here sharing their love of cryptids, of Mothman, of community, and fun here in the strange but wonderful little town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. But I'm going to hop in my car and we are going to uh, we are going to begin another leg of this journey um, we're gonna meander up to Massachusetts where I will be attending the Big E the State Fair for all of New England so one fair many many states but uh, thank you so much for watching this thank you those of you who, who watch these videos on a regular basis special Extra thank you to those that watch these videos every day. I've been putting them out almost every day, missing a few here and there, but for the most part, I've been putting out some daily videos. Um, of course, subscribe if you if you uh, if you like the channel. Um, if you're new here, I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun, random stuff. If uh, you'd like to help out the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also uh, selling enamel pins, pressed pennies, and stickers in the Etsy shop. Doing personalized messages on Cameo. If you're interested in any of those things, check the description of, those video, of this video. And all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this Mothman fluttering into the sky. Until next time, my friends. This once in the bag.